We all know that moving is stressful, but imagine packing up all your most valuable items, getting ready to leave just to have it all stolen. That's what happened to a woman in Oakland's Fruitvale neighborhood. NBC Bears' Valina Jones talked to the woman and now about the setback. Pretty much everything's gone, so I'm lucky that the clothes I'm wearing right now are my friends and that she's the same size as me and I still have one pair of shoes. Catherine Thompson was just minutes from moving out of the Bay Area until thieves put a stop to that plan, stealing her moving van with everything inside. Then there's, of course, you know, the panic and heartbreak that comes along with it and then, you know, and numb to it as well when you lose so much in your lifetime. And then, you know, when you think you've got an opportunity to try to rebuild and then everything you've got left to work with is kind of taken off. It's a little bit rough. Catherine locked the van on Ransom Avenue yesterday around noon. She went inside a home to grab some final items. Less than 10 minutes later, the van and all of her belongings, including her passport, sentimental items and everything she needed, for a new beginning were gone. Her friend Kirk Maurer owns the van and believes the suspects were driving this red car spotted in security footage. The car, it came, it, it came made a U-turn and double parked in the middle of the street. Um, and then like within less than a minute, they tried to lock. They uh, hit it with a Slim Jim from the side and then broke the, it looked like they were uh, wrenching and broke the ignition. Video shows the distinct white Ford 2001 van with the words Iron Man moving and a picture of a zombie on it speeding away. Kirk and friends have spent hours driving through Oakland trying to spot it after they say it took 11 hours for police to respond. If you're going to find it, that's how you, you do it. You have to kind of go do it yourself. They're not, there's no, no, nobody looking. Police confirm they are investigating but are not commenting on if the red car is involved. Catherine believes the theft points to bigger issues in the city. You know, I understand desperation, and but it, it doesn't make it right. It's completely wrong, and it's sad that job options aren't available and people have to create jobs by strategically robbing people. Support on social media is already pouring in. Kirk is also offering a reward to help recover what was lost. An unexpected detour, Catherine isn't planning to stop her from moving forward, even with just the clothes on her back. Try to stay strong and keep on taking care of myself and accept the fact that I have these two shoes on my feet and that I can keep moving. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.